There are several ways within the system to register slash RSVP and pay for an event. Uh, one way would be from the weekly newsletter. Uh, we showed that to you in the newsletter video, so you may want to watch that. Uh, another way would be to log in to a particular activity. You can filter by registrations. So it's only going to show me the events that I can register for. I can click view, go to registration, and click to register for the event. Now, before we do this, let's look at how to turn on the registration for an activity. We'll go to Edit, go to Registration, check to activate registration for this activity. We can type in some instructions. Maybe we want um, special instructions for the cost. Okay, and maybe the registration. You can start registering today, and then after next week, you can't register anymore. Maybe the max number of people who can come to this event is 20. So we only have room for 20 people. And you can set up the cost of adults at $2, scouts $1. To add additional cost or edit the descriptions, you can just do so here. Click Add Calls to add one or remove one of the calls you have by clicking the trash can beside the calls there. So that's saved. So we have our instructions there. It tells us our registration start and end date, max number of attendees and how many people have already registered. Now we can click to register for the event and it will take you to a page where you can register as the person that you're signed in as. You can see who's coming as shows that I've got one scout that's maybe coming and one that definitely is coming and one adult that's coming. can mark yes, no, or maybe. Enter in comments like I'm available to drive or I need someone to pick me up and then click submit RSVP. The, then you can also pay for it right here on the registration screen. You can click the PayPal buttons beside the associated cost and it'll take you to PayPal where you'll log in, approve the payment, PayPal will send a notice back to our page and then we can credit your payment under activities which will be shown here under the attendance. Now on the mobile device I've already logged in as one of our scouts. I can go to registration. From here I can print the permission slip and I can also click to register for the event. Okay, so I'm logged in as Jimmy Osborne. Gives me all the details of the event. I can see who's coming. I already marked myself as I've RSVP'd to the event. I don't have any comments. 
and I've submitted a payment of one dollar. So he can come back here, like if he forgot that he already registered, he can click on the link again. He'll be able to see, that, yes, I've registered and I've paid a dollar. Now he can also register members within his current household. So his mom and dad are listed here and he can register them as well. Just click those links. It'll open up the register registration page for his mom and dad and he can register them as well. You can also register from our web page um, from your custom website. So if we um, let's let's log out here. Let's go ahead and log out of the site. It's going to take us back to our public facing page. I have a page set up with our event template. Upcoming events. This page can be password protected if you like. But in my case, it's not. It'll show the events for the next two months on your public page. This is the same event here. You can click to register. It's going to make you sign in so it knows who you are. and then take you to the registration page where you can do the same thing. You can mark your RSVP status, you can see who's coming, enter comments, and pay for the event.